Hello everyone, it's time to make this classroom interactive. All right, I just wanna do a summary in case the video went a little bit fast for you. The overall purpose of this video is just to let you know what can be done with your virtual classroom, how you can use it and being mindful and purposeful of the things and elements that you add to the classroom. So the classroom that you're looking at right now, there is a empty bookcase and there's a cork board. There's also a whiteboard back there, um, the computer. So just be mindful of your elements. So this bookcase, you could fill with books that you're going over for the week, or even if you wanna do everything for a month, maybe you hand out a monthly calendar and maybe the top shelf you wanna do the first week of concepts and the second row, the second week of concepts. However you wanna lay it out, but be intentional and it can be fun. So um, the chart in the back, you can change it out weekly, you can change it out monthly, or you can just keep the same thing, but it's just an interactive method that your parents can communicate with you or you can communicate with your parents or your students. So let's just say we added books to this shelf. Say I added only one per shelf and they are corresponding with our lesson of the week. I could put a message on the cork board, um, select, the book of your choice or I can give specific instructions and they could click on that cork board if we added a hyperlink so how you add the links to your elements is you would click on your element you would right click on the element and your menu options you'll see hyperlink you would click hyperlink it will come up with a box which would allow you to search something from your computer that you would like to attach but i normally find a youtube video or um, a mp4 file to attach to my elements so i would go ahead and say um, attach a read aloud to it so i would go to youtube if that's my source type in the book or video that i'm looking for go to the share option and copy the shareable link then paste that into the menu box of the hyperlink and you'll see that in the video hit OK and that link has been applied and then now when the student clicks on that particular book or if you just have the entire bookcase as the element if they click on the bookcase it will take them directly to the link that you have added so I'll walk you through all of this in the video, but you can plan out your classroom however you'd like. Once again, this is just to get you started. Um, the possibilities are endless. Have fun and just enjoy. Thank you for watching. Um, let me know if there's other content you'd like me to cover. Enjoy. All right, so now you have your classroom and now you can add hyperlinks. You can click on any element in your classroom and link it to a video or a voice recording or a paper. Let's start with my weather chart. You left click and hit hyperlink. You can search something from your computer or you can go to the web. I'm gonna go to the web and I am going to add my video, um, the water cycle, because it'll help us talk about clouds and weather. So um, I'm going to find that video. Here it is. Click on it. And as it's loading, you go down to share, copy the link, and then go back to your presentation. And this, highlight this box take the statement out and go ahead and paste the link in hit OK um, I'm gonna link this art easel I'll link it to um, a drawing so once again this menu comes up where you can select something from the computer or you can go get a link somewhere else I'm gonna add this frog video because actually we drew a frog in this lesson so same thing click share copy the link 
and then take the link back to your presentation, paste it here, hit OK, and now that link is applied to the easel. So you just highlight any element that you want to add a link to. You can add a link to yourself, maybe it could be a welcome message, maybe it could be um, a first day photo for your class. Any element that you've added, you can add a link to. So I'm going into slideshow mode so you can see um, there's a link when I hover over that. So the link is there, click it, and it'll take us directly to our water cycle video. There you have it, so those links work. Um, what's really neat is, I'm gonna do the same here and test this link, and it should take us to our frog video. But you can save your presentation as a PDF, and guess what, when you email it to your families, the links still work. So say you're emailing a newsletter and you have all this beautiful clip art and graphics there. You can have your calendar open up when they save it into wherever they store their PDFs. They can click on the calendar and the calendar will open up. You can have so much fun with this. The uh, options are endless. So that is one of the reasons that you may want to have a virtual classroom. Um, this is my entire presentation. And this is just for presentation purposes um, but I have a radio in one of my slides and it is linked to our favorite song which is uh, the Go Noodle milkshake song so there you see a YouTube link um, there I have a weather chant but you can do so many different things um, whatever concepts you're working on maybe physical fitness you can link to the window a hint to go outside you can do something um, with time whatever you're working on you can link it here I'm just going to show you how to link books so I have a bookcase and I have um, if you give a mouse a cookie so I'm gonna left click on it select hyperlink and then go to YouTube and find um, if you give a mouse a cookie read aloud and it's the same concept that we just worked on, but I'm just gonna show you how you can um, be creative with books in that manner. So I'm just gonna choose one of these. I haven't previewed it. I won't use this. This is just for demonstration purposes, but click on the share. Then you're gonna just copy that link. You'll go back to your presentation and you will highlight this area, get rid of that and just paste your link in the spot, hit OK, and now that book is linked to a read aloud of that particular title. Um, so I'll go show you that that link is active by going to slideshow mode, and you can see the different links that I've added to the different books. We'll click it just to show that it works, and it should take us straight to that read aloud So very simple to add the hyperlinks, but how cute is that for someone to go into the classroom and be able to click on the different elements and take them to a variety of resources. So that is um, one reason that you may want to play around with having a virtual classroom. Um, I'm going to do word art and just add a message on the slide. And the message that I'll go ahead and place is find a book to read today and that way when they receive this they'll know okay my teacher has sent out the books that she's recommending this week and so the student or the parent can just click on one of those books of their choice and they can have a read aloud um, it's really cool if you link your own videos or your own lessons that way your kids hear your voice and they're familiar with what you're teaching but you can play around with this however you like I'm just going to change the sizing and try to make the uh, font and color a little bit more eye-catching so it is something that draws your eye to the board when you first receive the slide but nothing else in this particular slide is attached to a link so they would just scroll over the bookshelf and pick out a book
I think that looks good. Mm, no. That's kind of cute, but it's not big enough. I need something bold. There we go. And adjust that. And if you receive this piece of communication, find a book to read today. Wouldn't you want to go to the bookshelf and find a book? I think that's pretty neat. Anyway, you can have so much fun with adding these different links. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.